What is Maverick? Maverick is a steel LSM launch coaster located at Cedar Point in Ohio, USA. The ride is manufactured by Intamin and features two separate launches. The first acts like a lift hill, propelling riders up towards the first drop, while the second is a traditional launch. Maverick opened on the 26th of May 2007 at the cost of 21 million US dollars. Notably, it was the 500th roller coaster to be designed by the well known coaster designer Werner Stengel. It can be found within the Frontier Town section of the park and therefore has a Wild West theme. Various sections of rockwork form canyons around the track, while water fountains can be found in the small lakes within the ride area. The station and tunnel are also themed towards the western style through the use of a wooden board aesthetic. Riders of Maverick begin their experience by rolling out of the station. They then encounter the first LSM launch causing the trains to quickly accelerate up the 32 meter high lift hill. As they crest the hill, they encounter the first 30.5 meter drop which descends at a maximum vertical angle of 95 degrees making Maverick the steepest ride at the park. Due to the quick speed at which riders crest the hill, most will experience ejector airtime. After entering the drop, the track quickly banks to the right and enters a tight beyond 180 degree turn. This quickly transitions into a left hand turn, followed by another right hand turn into an airtime hill. As riders continue to navigate the layout, they experience a unique element, a twisted horseshoe roll. Maverick was the first roller coaster to feature this inversion which consists of two corkscrews separated by a 180 degree turn. The trains then enter a 122 meter long tunnel and quickly decelerate. After only a few seconds, riders encounter the second launch, which propels them to the top speed of 113 km per hour. They quickly bank left and climb a third hill. Unlike most of the ride, the trains then go through a relatively straight section of track. This segment, shortly after the second launch, used to consist of a heartline roll. Throughout the testing stages of the ride, it was found that the heartline roll inversion caused large amounts of stress on the train. As a result, it was removed and replaced with an S-curve, delaying the opening of the attraction by several weeks. Overall, Maverick's layout is fast-paced, chaotic and compact, leading to an extreme ride experience. As riders navigate the layout, they undergo two inversions, as well as many highly banked elements. The track itself measures 1,356 meters long, leading to a ride time of approximately 75 seconds. This is measured from the moment the train engages with the first launch to when it hits the final brake run. Each train is made up of three cars, with riders arranged in two rows of two, leading to a total of 12 riders per train. A maximum of six trains can operate on the ride at once, resulting in a throughput of 1,200 riders per hour. To increase the capacity, two trains can be unloaded and loaded simultaneously. Both trains are dispatched at the same time, meaning the second train waits outside of the station. Once the first train passes the second launch, the second train can ascend the lift hill. Each one of the six trains has a different color. These include gold, silver, copper, gunmetal, iron and brass. To complement the colour, each train also has its own name, including Bart, Ben and Sam, for example. The restraints of the trains were originally Intamin's hard over-the-shoulder restraints. These were changed to the soft, vest-like restraints as found on Intimidator 305 for the 2016 season. Upon its debut year, Maverick was given the title of the Best New Attraction of 2007 by the Golden Ticket Awards and the NAPHA. Ultimately, the coaster was a huge success, leading to a multitude of positive reviews from riders. Because of its intensity and fast pace, some state it's the best roller coaster at Cedar Point, while others prefer Millennium Force. What's your opinion?